Hi, this is Karen at Snickerdoodle Designs. Today we're going to take a look at how to set layer panel options in Photoshop. Are there times when you struggle to see what's on a particular layer in a Photoshop document? I know I, I struggle at times. And here's a perfect example. This is a cluster that a member of my creative team, Sharni, made for me using my newest kit, Handmade Christmas. And these are the default Photoshop layer panel options. You can see that the thumbnails are quite small and that we really can't see the images on them. We can see the, red, the flower because it's red and it kind of sticks out. But to actually look at these thumbnails and try to see what's on them, it's pretty hard. We could look at the name of the layer or we can click on an element in our document and that layer will be highlighted. But there's also another easier way to see what is on each layer and that is by changing the layer panel options. To do that we need to click on these horizontal lines at the top of our layers panel and that will open up the layer panel window here. Come all the way down to the bottom and click on panel options. And now we have several options here. We can have no thumbnail, a small, a medium, or a large thumbnail. And you can see that I have small ticked, and that is the default in Adobe. And these are very small, as I said. So let's go ahead and click large and see how that changes it. So I've just ticked the little button in front of the large, clicked OK, and now you can see that these are quite large. It's easier to see. Still not the easiest, but it's definitely better. If we wanted to see this flower, we can see it by the color, or again, we can tick on it and Adobe will highlight it. But let's go back to that option again, back to the panel options. And down here, we have an option called thumbnail contents. We can click on layer bounds or entire document. I have entire document clicked here. It is the default. And you can see that on the thumbnail, this flower is showing where it is in relation to the entire document. If I click on layer bounds and click OK, now Adobe shows us the bounds of that flower or the boundaries of that flower and we can see very easily what each layer contains. Now there are two bells in here in this document. There are two bells here. If we just want to know which bell is which, we can click on it like I said and Adobe will highlight that particular layer. We can toggle back and forth as we'd like. It's very easy just by ticking that OK. But I'm going to go back and change it to layer bounds because that's so much better to see. These options down here, you can just leave them as they are. Just click OK and now you can very easily see what's on your document. And that's how easy it is. I hope that eases any eye strain you have when you're working. And thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next week.